hi hi everybody welcome to my channel and today's video i want to tell you about a topic that i have been talking a lot in my lives on tiktok i think that it's pretty important to tell you here and it's bloating stomach how we can get fit or core or how we can get flat or stomach First, we have to keep in mind that diet is very important. I was really struggled a lot for several years of bloating stomach. I found out just recently a way to keep away from bloating stomach. The point is that we have to be focused and be, that is my little girl eating. We have to be focused and be conscious in what we are eating daily. First, I'm going to define what is bloating in stomach for some people that don't know what is bloating in stomach. It's a condition in where your belly feels full or tight due to gas. You feel really full and your stomach gets really big and you don't know why you use it just a little tiny thing well this have an explanation that certain food have sugar and starch that your body cannot metabolize easy and because that it causes gas in our stomach for days and weeks and years we have to be really conscious of what are we eating every day we have to be really smart and know what we should avoid and what we should eat in order to get our stomach flat or avoid the bloating stomach first we have to check what food we are eating daily right and i'm going to name you some of the food that possible can cause burning stomach and then you can see and check if you are eating those kind of food first are processed food so processed food is all the sausage uh, processed meat that we get in the stores uh, also for example cans food that comes in cans all this food has some chemicals preservatives have preservatives that help keep the food fresh but these preservatives have a lot of chemicals and those cause blood in stomach and even also cause some other disease too we have a boy buy food in cans and i know that it's hard and more for americans that you are accustomed to buy everything in cans fruit vegetables beans grains everything even meat everything is in cans i'm from south america from colombia and we are accustomed to eat vegetables from the soil right we are we eat fresh vegetables fresh grains fresh everything and it's because i have hard time to eat to eat vegetables and fruit in cans green beans it's something that you found here in cans all over and also peas you can now find here like natural peas if you go in certain places they don't sell that they use it in can that is like a, it give us hard time to figure out what we can eat if they don't offer like healthy food I'm going to talk about that later. So first, check what food you should avoid. So canned food, now we're talking about vegetables and fruit that comes in cans. Also tuna, it comes in cans and it's a really, really tuna. It's really bad because it have a lot of mercury. So it's really high in sodium. It's not healthy. Seasonings that you use for prepare the meat or vegetables that it's good it's tasty but some seasonings are not too good first we want to talk about the food 
that you have boy food that is higher on sugar and starches it's kind of bad for you body sodas have sugar juices that have sugar other foods that have sugar contain sugar this sugar is hard for your body to process so it's going to cause bloating stomach in your body it can cause another disease so we have to be really careful in our levels of sugar salt that we uh, consume in our food other important thing that you should keep in mind uh, take care of pay attention is uh, for example the milk and coffee and the sweeteners that you use to do your coffee because this is really very important and it's kind of like in this point is where i find out my problem because sometimes we don't see the sweeteners that we use you put like in coffee forget this sweet uh, flavor they have some kind of co compounds that are pretty say, harmful or body and it can cause like heart disease and also what sugar that sugar gonna cause us blood in stomach we had also for example avoid i'm going to talk about this particular it, it is healthy to eat vegetables and fruit grains also but at the same time some of these are kind of like hard for our gut vegetables that will cause it blood in stomach are cruciferous vegetables those vegetables are the brussels sprouts the cabbage cauliflower carrots prunes and apricots all those vegetables have this kind of sugar that is kind of hard for our body metabolize easy i don't know tell you don't eat these vegetables but manage the amount of eating these vegetables do not eat every single day because it's going to cause a lot of blood in your stomach so you're gonna feel really full you're gonna feel really like uncomfortable but also you can consume less amount that you use consume like don't gonna consume a lot use a little bit i usually love eat a lot of salad like a big plate of salad but I usually eat a big salad of cauliflower, broccoli, all these vegetables. Lately, I kind of avoid eating these vegetables. Sometimes I eat them, but in a little small amount, just like a one time a week. I also avoid to use sugar, use salt, and use seasoning in the vegetables on meat. I do not tell you don't use because it is hard don't use in the food but probably I, I tell you like try to use some other seasonings that are healthier for example curcuma curcuma is pretty healthy contains a lot of antioxidants that help your body cinnamon cinnamon is a pretty good also for your body definitely you have to avoid garlic and onions almost all the seasonings that you use in your food have garlic and onion so that thing is the first thing that i stop using when i prepare chicken or i prepare fish or i prepare my vegetables i don't use those kind of seasonings instead i use sometimes some natural seasoning that you don't have garlic and onion and also i use curcuma cinnamon that is pretty good and i use fruit that give a really good good taste to the chicken or fish if you want to try to some orange or some for example uh, apples in salads uh, we can use fruits to get a little sweetness and it's pretty healthy because our fruit some things that are pretty helpful to avoid blowing stomach we can do in our daily activities one is exercise regularly i don't tell you that you have to go to the gym but you can go for a walk you can go for a ride bike. i even clean your house is certain activities that make your body 
be in movement it's gonna be easy for your digestion uh, it's pretty good when you wake up and you walk a little bit it helps you your intestine you got smooth and then you can have a better digestion so exercise it's good something also good that avoid to you have a lot of like gas in your stomach try to chew with your mouth closed because when what you are eating with your mouth open you are taking air so it it, it falls you of gas it's funny but it's true we should drink plenty of water always keep a bottle of water with you even at night in the middle of the night i get really thirsty and i drink a lot of water and it's pretty good for your stomach keep in mind that eat food high in fiber so that means eat a lot of vegetables eat a lot of fruit it can be for example oatmeal you know oats have a lot of fiber something also that help you to avoid this uh, burning stomach is for example if you eat a small amount of food frequently instead to eat big meals and like, this is uh, something that i kind of had to change because i'm constantly to eat big meals i love a big breakfast i love a big lunch and i kind of don't like much dinner but i had to get accustomed to eat dinner and we should to eat three times protein we should eat protein three times a day in breakfast lunch and dinner we had to eat protein as something important if you want lost weight and you feel really hungry all the time like really hungry i kind of like feel this sometimes like that. nobody stopped me i want to eat and keep eating is that if you have a good intake of protein in your breakfast and lunch and dinner then for sure at night you don't going to feel that feeling of that you want to eat something because your stomach is full protein it make us feel full sometimes i get from the gym really hungry and then i get whatever thing i found to make me feel full while i like cooking my dinner something that i think is pretty important and i had told that before if we cook our own meals right because that is important if we want to keep our diet but also for example like cook certain food for several days for three four days that you had meals in the refrigerator that you don't have to be worried if you go out and then you come back to home and you have already and know what you want to eat so usually i prepare a big, big container of chicken a big container of salad and i keep that for three four days sometimes and i don't worry about i love go outside and eat and sometimes i do that but usually when i go eat outside that day at night i have my stomach really big because in the restaurant they use all this salt this seasoning that they put in the food yeah they use a lot of, of, of things they use garlic onion of course because it's all this tasty it's like a bomb it's going to cause us blowing stomachs i believe so you can you can check oh yeah you can check every time you go out and you come back you side your stomach super big because it happened to me too even when i go eat indian food they use a lot of seasonings in the food so the next day i look really puffy in my face and this is true because salt retain water in the body so this is something also i mean that is very important and i have found out that i have checked that in myself because i stopped eating salt i stopped eating sugar i stopped eating certain vegetables certain food and i saw how my gut get healthy how my stomach get flat that is true listen if you love the amount of salt seasonings that you're using the food sugar you are going to see your body transformation you're gonna see that your body change 100 percent a lot because we retain water in our arms we retain water in, in our stomach we retain water in our face in our legs too we had to check 
everything if we want to have 100% success in this in in this uh, goal like uh, we want to get our stomach flat we want lost weight we want to be healthy we had to put a lot of effort so one thing is check what food are you eating daily are you eating canned food are you eating uh, food that contain a lot of sugar are you eating processed food you have to check even if you are eating healthy my diet is vegetables and fruit and i, I eat pretty healthy and i still have a in stomach because that has happened for me for years vegetables are healthy but some kind of vegetables have some sugar and the starch that the body cannot digest easy cruciferous vegetables are uh, brussels cabbage cauliflower all these vegetables are healthy but it contain this sugar that cause blood in stomach so we should lower the concern of this not avoid because that is it's good vegetables that don't eat it all together and not eating all week use one two days a week there are some vegetables that have anti-inflammatory functions for example spinach spinach is a great vegetable that you should eat all the time like a papaya because this is really really healthy have a lot of nutrients have a lot of antioxidants but also it had effects as anti-inflammatory kale also sweet potatoes are pretty light easy to you get cucumber lettuce all these vegetables are so good for your gut they have anti-inflammatory effects and are easy for your stomach to digest so you can do a salad with lettuce cucumber zucchini spinach all these vegetables are pretty good and i suggest that you instead to eat the cruciferous vegetables i suggest that you try to do different salads on the week with these vegetables spinach lettuce zucchini kale sweet potato also is pretty good they have like a anti-inflammatory effect this is a carbohydrate and i see that it's a good and healthy carbohydrate that you can use in your meals as a protein chicken fish and red meat i do not eat red meat but red meat also contain protein so that is the three sources of protein now try and avoid it trans fat food trans fat food is the food that is fry over and over and over so it's because it is no good it's no good eat those snacks because snacks all those uh, fried things they are fry over and over and they have trans fat trans fat is pretty bad for our body you have check that also every time you buy something it has trans fat uh, values there it is no good you have check also the amount of calories i'm gonna give you an example i was drinking some coffee i love it because it tastes so good and i never have a word about calories never ever have checked calories in my life i, I really love food and i was like if i going to be worried about calories i gonna get sick like i gonna get like anorexic or something but no we have really to check what we are eating and this is a healthy way to keep healthy i check the calories of the coffee that i was using that are your bats of coffee that you use put powder and you water and this is all and it was 180 calories i mean i don't know about calories 180 calories all right when i check another coffee like a black coffee coffee in the store it says three calories i was like oh, hold on it, it don't get my math this coffee have three calories and the coffee that I drink in every single day, sometimes twice, it has 180 calories. And I was, I don't know what to think. I was like, 
I need to stop drinking that coffee. I believe that coffee had a sugar that I can not drink because my body have hard time to digest every single day. And I was taking that coffee every morning. It was the first thing that I put in my mouth was that coffee. In the first time that I start my day, I start with my rotting stomach. And that is true. Every time when I wake up and since I just eat my breakfast, it's in, immediately my stomach was getting big. And I was like, all right, I think it's, I'm getting old. No. It wasn't that I was getting old. It was my diet. Just simple that, my diet. One day, I decided to buy this coffee. Forget about my other delicious coffee. That day, that day when I drink that coffee, that morning, my stomach don't get big. I eat the same things, and I usually eat eggs with a spinach, that is anti-inflammatory vegetable, with toast. And I don't put any, I don't use butter or nothing of that. So it was toast, eggs, spinach, and the coffee. My stomach was flat that morning. All right, I think I get the point. And then I went to that bag and I started reading what this have. And then I found out that this have all this sugar and values starches that are really high that was causing me blowing stomach since the beginning, since I start my day. So I fit that with my breakfast and I start thinking, all right, so I should share the calories and sugar levels on my food. And I start looking what I was eating and what I was using to prepare my food. Now, one day I cooked my chicken. I was like, all right, I do not gonna use any seasonings because all these have garlic and onion and all those things that cause in blowing stomach. I look at other seasonings that are healthier, like for example, that I told you, Curcuma, it's a, a good, uh, really good seasoning that is pretty healthy for your body. And also I read about cinnamon and cinnamon is kind of sweet. It's kind of good. Uh, give a really nice uh, taste to the chicken. I like it. And it's not hard for your stomach. It's kind of like it's have a lot of antioxidant. It's healthier. But if you need sweet something, honey, it's healthier than sugar and agave is healthier you can use for sweet whatever you need it have calories but it's really healthier and it's easier to your body to just fast those things those little things is that we had changed and we're gonna see a lot of change in our body we're gonna see that we don't gonna get any more running stomach we are going to feel more like you're gonna see a lot of change in your body but this is my point with this video and i want to share this with you guys because sometimes we have the answer right there in our nose but we don't see that i suggest you check sit down and look what are you eating every day check the value of the calories try to change and found something healthier less calories also that don't contain sugar i start i was thinking a coffee before they have everything together like it was three in one uh, i don't buy milk so now i have buy milk to have a little coffee with milk whole milk i guess it goes like this have a lot of calories a lot when i was checking all the meals and there are ones that are unsweet milk there are ones that cause almond milk coconut milk all those meals are healthier are pretty good are better than whole milk low in calories and also don't have sugar that is the most important i do a lot of change in my diet lately and I had seen a lot of change in my belly also. And I kind of really happy. I have been struggling with this for years. 
years i have been eating healthy but i always have suffer a bloating stomach i have changed my vegetables but i still suffer a bloating stomach but i never look towards the sugar and the calories and when I start looking the sugar, what food had sugar, and I found out what food had sugar and I put it away from my diet, it's when I start changing my, my gut and my stomach. I feel healthier. I look healthier. I suggest that you check your diet. The cause of this sugar and starches cause burning stomach is because these tend to ferment in the gut causing blood in stomach we can keep our gut healthy if we eat food that is easy to our gut and something that is very important first is avoid at all cause sugars and starches some fruits that cause like brown stomach like apples apples cause brown in stomach but uh, for example uh, blueberries are pretty good bananas are good also orange are good also so we had just check what food we should eat the fruit that more cause brown in stomach is apples so I, I know that watermelon is pretty good, banana also, orange are good, blueberries are good, these are pretty healthy, strawberries are pretty healthy, and you should keep them and eat them at breakfast and also uh, probably with lunch, but after 5 p.m. is not good eat fruit because it's going to become sugar. And then you're gonna have your levels of sugar in your blood higher. You have to keep in mind also, don't eat fruits after 5 p.m because you body are ready to go to bed so it is no good idea i wanted to make a list about what food we should avoid so we should avoid processed food we should avoid food in cans we should avoid food that have sugar right starches sugar we should avoid cruciferous vegetables like brussels broccoli um cauliflower all these uh, vegetables we should avoid food with gluten. We should avoid also onion, garlic. We should reduce portions and eat like a little portions in the day and not large portions. And also we should drink a lot of water, plenty of water. There is certain things that we can take to help our body with inflammation. Green tea. Green tea is my number one. Give it antioxidants and it helps with a lot of things like cancer. I mean, it's really, really healthy um, green tea. Another is ginger tea. Ginger tea also is pretty good. Turmeric tea. Turmeric tea is also pretty good. It's anti inflammatory. It helps you. It's really healthy for you. So you, you should try to see all these teas that are going to. Uh, help you to avoid blowing stomach i usually i usually take green tea when i wake up or i take uh, a ginger shot also sometimes i take green tea in the afternoon if i don't take green tea at morning and also green drinks kale carrots apple and i do a drink and it's really pretty unhealthy for your body or apple cider vinegar it's pretty good also i help you reduce inflammation in your body so kind of like all these little things you can take daily and it's gonna help you avoid inflammation see green smoothies also green smoothies are pretty good orange juice but orange juice like real orange juice flexi seeds and sesame seeds are pretty good and really healthy and help you get with digestion so those uh, seeds are also pretty good to consume i wouldn't really want to do this video to help all of you that are struggled with growing stomach that have been trying everything diet but never catch this little thing that we we don't see and it's in our nose and is uh, the sugar so you had to avoid certain vegetables but also you can eat another vegetable that i tell you Cucumber, kale, zucchini, spinach are pretty good vegetables that you should eat daily and they're gonna help you with inflammation. So we should eat what it helps us and we should avoid what it don't help us. And if you like the other vegetables, 
you can consume these vegetables but in a little amount like one twice a week a little bit and it's gonna be healthy because it's gonna be easy to your gut because we love the levels of sugar so it's gonna be really easy to your body it's not, it's not gonna get struggles to uh, digest this so I hope that you uh, found this video really helpful I probably of course I'm going to show you in other videos how you do the drinks for avoid burning stomach or some easy uh, meals do you got i hope that you guys are already subscribed to this to this channel until the next video bye bye